I was seven years old when I got inspired by my father reciting in many places. Um, and then I realized that one day I can be like him. Um, so I asked him one day, I was like, can you please teach me what you do? He was like, of course. So this whole time, now I'm 13 years old, so nearly seven years, um, he's been teaching me. And also I, I just, I want to inspire youth like my age to become world-renowned Quran reciters. Amazing. Absolutely beautiful. And credit to your parents, credit to your father, credit to you. Which surah or section are you going to read for us tonight? Um, just a section from Surah Al-Anbiya. From Surah Al-Anbiya. Fantastic. Let's listen to this wonderful recital. A'udhu Billahi Minash Rajeem Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Wa Zakariya Ith nada Rabbahu La tazarni Farda Wa Zakariya Rabbi la tadharni fa'da wa anta khayru al-warifin Fa'stajabna Let's 
صدق الله العلي العظيم صل على محمد وآل محمد If I get through today, um, I'll be very happy, of course, um, and I'll put in more effort and take in the feedback that uh, the judges gave me, and inshallah, I'll do better next round. I think Mullah's that confident that he's through, that he's just like, <laughs> you don't need to give me feedback. Uh, brilliant. So, well done. Um, I'm going to turn it now to the judges to give their feedback. Being the Quran reciter uh, as well, say, Jalal, please, if you can give your first piece of feedback for Mullah. MashaAllah, Muhammad Mehdi Mudhaffar. Very beautiful recitation. I really, I enjoyed when you were reciting. I was flying. I was not on the earth. Beautiful recitation. Uh, do you know the melodies you recited? Uh, yeah. How many melodies and could you um, mention roughly the melodies? Pretty sure it was three. What are the melodies? Um, it was Hijaz, it was Nahawant, and then just ended the Bayat. Bayat? Yeah. You didn't recite Kurd? Oh, sorry, yeah. Uh, Hijaz, Kurd, and then Bayat. Um, some rules of recitation, especially the Sifat of Huruf, the qualities of letters, inshallah you'll work. But overall, you have the strength of voice, very strong. Because when you started um, with, uh, starting with Maqam Hijaz, it's quite difficult. Because when you go to the second level of voice, when you go to Jawab and Jawab Jawab, I thought that this Mudhafar is not going, but you did. Because that, is, that shows the strength of your voice. I wish all the best for you. Mula Nazar, I would love to get your, your feedback. In the beginning, some place, you couldn't control your pitch. And in other place, the, the place which you wanted change uh, from Hijaz to Kord, still you lost. It's okay because you are 13 years old and as I said, it's a very critical age. I believe that what are you doing is uh, very beautiful and you will be better than this. Yeah, uh, in general, mashallah. Mashallah, beautiful recitation and very good that we start our program with Quran, especially with you. If I didn't make it today to the next round, um, I wouldn't feel sad, I wouldn't feel anything because I was to say there are good competitors against me there are many many youths that are here to recite and to serve Allah and I have no problem with that if I don't make and they do yeah look I'm three times your age and I envy your voice uh, but a positive envy of course I, I your voice is amazing you're a source of pride you have a wonderful gift and I love the fact that you you haven't really picked uh, a chapter of the Holy Quran that is necessarily the easiest you could have easily gone to Juz Amma, the 30th. You could have picked one of the Suwar, which are a bit easier to get through. But you picked NBR, you know, 21. It's quite early in the Quran. And I love that. I love that bravery. Um, I love the fact that you want to, you know, you're comfortable at any recital. Um, and the fact that these two are looking at you and saying that this maqam and that maqam and you're 13. I wait for a day where I can download all of your suwar of the Quran. So you were fantastic. Well done. Well done. For me, you've humbled me. I mean, I think this was a phenomenal choice. You're the perfect choice to start this show, mashallah. Your confidence spoke to me. Like, like Sayyid Amar said, in front of these two, to have that kind of confidence, I think it would be absolutely criminal if we didn't move you forward. Mashallah, mashallah. It means to me just serving Allah and the Shia community by reciting the Holy Quran. Um, it just, it, it purifies my soul. It just, I feel very um, calm when I recite the Holy Quran. For every episode, we're going to have a special guest, special judge um, that will also give their uh, recommendations and feedback. And so we're joined today uh, and honored to be joined by Al Hajj uh, Mustafa Mas'ud. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you for inviting me. It's an honor to be part of the Shia voice. Uh, I'm biased about Muhammad Mahdi uh, Al Mudaffar because I love him. And I know his father and he's from my city, Najaf. So I'm going to be biased if you ask me about him. But I won't add anything else to what the respected judges have mentioned. I wish him all the best. And I'm sure that Muhammad will go further in this competition. All the best, Habib Muhammad. If I won that money, um, of course, uh, some, most of it, to be honest, would go to my family. Uh, and most of it would go to my father because he was with me throughout this whole thing. Without him, I would not even be in this competition. So... Um, most of it would go to uh, my family and then maybe some would go to charity and then 
I just keep it in my savings, that's it. Thank you very much, uh, Muhammad uh, Mahdi Mudaffar. Please, can you put your hands together for Muhammad Mahdi Mudaffar? Thank you. I'm alone, I'm in pain, I want to be me. I'm afraid I'm in need to keep you. Do you mind? How did you feel? How was it? I kind of nerve back in the first spot. Oh. Mashallah. It came out all well. Your voice is magical, man. Mashallah. That's international level recitation. Thank you so much. Yeah, was, as I said, it's all come from my father, and I give all my respect for my father. May Allah bless you. Was he here watching you today? Yeah, he was. He was here. Do you, what did you think about what the judges said about the controlling of the pitch of your tone? I mean, yeah, there's always feedback and there's always something negative to say about someone. Um, and I take that feedback in and inshallah next time I'll improve and take that feedback into it. Thank you so much. You did very well. Good job, bro. Good job.